And we are back for more 11. Oh my god. Yeah. Why am I doing this to Let's myself? Let's do this. <laughs> she, uh, we, have, we took a few days off to kind of just take a break. COP was a lot. And it work, a work, lot. work's yes. been stressing me out. I'm about to go on a two week business trip, so I'm trying to get over that. A little, ner a little nervous, so. Right now we're going to do, to do, uh, we're going to do Sky. She, uh, farmed all the pop items. Yeah. It took her a few days. And Already. She, uh, she has all eight items. If you want to invite me to your party. Mm. All right. Yeah, I have a bad anxiety issue sometimes, and I'm, usually, usually I'm okay, but going on a two-week trip in a different state on my own kind of kind of got to me a little bit like I started worrying like what what if something happens to me what if I have a, like a panic attack on the side of the road I think about think about those you're things you're not you're gonna be fine yeah but you know what I mean it's still like a little fear can't help it sometimes you're gonna teleport to Tulia Ruan Gardens I'm going to number one yes and I will meet you there because we're in different parts of Windurst I'll meet you there I think it's one of those things that I'll, I'll, I'll be fine when I'm there, but just you will it's thinking be about so it, fun. just thinking about like it's like you know before a roller coaster, you're 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 like nervous, you're excited, and you're like oh man, what if I don't like this? What if I like freak out and have a panic attack on the on the hill right there? Which normally I do. I hate roller coasters. I hate. I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of heights too. I'm not a fan of roller coasters. I like the one at Wonderland because it's not that bad, but. Oh, I forgot you bought me a headset. <laughs> I've only used it once, so I'm not used to it yet. Well, I was about to say, yeah, you can hear it a lot better. Yeah, I'm not really afraid of heights in a plane. I mostly just don't like being confined in a small space for... Like, an hour is fine. If it's like a three-hour flight I or plus, I'll start getting a little... Ugh. Okay, your first flight ever... Was to Germany. Was to Germany. Yeah, but was, was, Which was, what, 15 hours? Yeah, but that was still a teenager. I didn't have anxiety issues back then. My anxiety issues spawned its ugly face <laughs> 10 years ago. I had a panic attack. I think it was because I was drinking a lot, and when I suddenly quit drinking cold turkey, my body freaked out, and my heart was going fast, and it made me have a panic attack in the car. And I had to, like, have someone... I had to have, I had to have a co-worker drive me home. And f after that, for years, I was afraid to be in the car alone. And so you have to understand... That fear on top of going to a different state, no family, unfamiliar area, and alone in a car. It's going to be quite the challenge for me. But I really think you're going to be just fine. Oh, I'm, I know yeah. I will be. And this will give you confidence that you'll know you can do it. I hope so. I know we're starting off the stream with a very heavy subject. Today we're talking about mental illness. <laughs> and how a lot of people in America suffer from it in the world. That's true. A lot more than people realize and care to admit. A lot yep. of people are afraid to talk about it. And a lot of people are afraid that you'll still see it. And a lot of people probably do feel that way. That they think as a, as a weakness. Mm -hmm. That you're weak. That you can't handle the job. It's not that I can't handle I love doing my job. It's just getting from point A to point B. It's the rough part for me. Like If I had like a, a Star Trek teleport. Just beam me up. I wouldn't even care. <laughs> Beam me I wouldn't even be scared. I'm just scared about what happens if I can't get to point B or if I'm at point B and I don't want to get to point A. Stupid well, shit like that. You're just going to have to just do it. Just do it. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. I mean, I don't have a choice. Either that or get a different job. Yeah, don't do and that. that's not really an option that's right now. That's not a good option. I worked so hard to get this job. Yes. And you're um, really awesome at your And job. it's a one-time-only type deal. He might send me in the future, but that might be long in the future. It might be years. Yeah. The last time I traveled for this company was back in 2016. And I had to go to Oklahoma, uh, to Tulsa, which I believe is well, about six hours, right? From us? Yes. Because, it, yeah. Yeah, it's about six hours. And I drove. I, I, I Make it invisible. Oh, my bad. I chose not to fly just for the sake that eh, it's six hours, no big deal. I just drove. Yeah, but um, to this trip, it would have been an 11 hour drive. Oh, I don't want to do that. And that's way too far. Especially someone like me who's like, kind of afraid of driving. Oh my gosh. I'd rather, I, I'd rather be slightly uncomfortable for a couple hours in the plane than uncomfortable 11 hours in a car by myself. Yeah. 
Yeah, for on, sure. On a plane, if I freak out, no big deal. I just sit there and I'll freak out and people look at me funny. You're not going to freak out on if the I'm plane. If I'm in a car, I'll just be like, ah, and like pull over and go, ah, I'm going to die. <laughs> One, one's less worse than the other. The less worse is fine <laughs> and I'm going to have to drive. Well, I mean, you've never had any panic on a plane. There's no reason to think you will. Airplane rides are fun. We're going to have for fun. It's going to be I wouldn't awesome. be the first person that's nervous to be on a plane. Well, that's true, but I think you're going to be just fine. Well, I've flown a lot in my life. We go to Vegas mostly, but that's different. Like in Vegas, it's like, yay, happy fun times. Yeah. And, uh, but in this, it's like, uh, yay, work. And I have to go home to a hotel by myself and spend the weekend by myself in an empty hotel and then work. Yeah, that part sucks. Yeah. That part sucks. There was a 50-50 chance that Yellow Gate was open, so we did good. I could have gone there and just, I don't know, leave a character, then open it for you or something and log out again. Wherever you opened it at. Is it right here? Yeah, but you can't get to here except through there. Well, maybe if you had, like, a spare character. Yeah, just, leave, just here like, always. leave them there. <laughs> the gate portal person. There you go. Yeah, if you're like exploring in Sky and you're trying to get like all the pop items, you really, really need a gate person to just stand there and open yellow and blue. <laughs> One other news, um, the other day I got my peacock amulet. It was my seventh, maybe eighth time to kill. I killed Argus once, Leech King spawned about seven times, and I killed Argus a second time and it finally dropped. So, yay. Nice. I, uh, it's a lot easier than it used to be. It used to be 24 hour spawn, now it's just one hour. So, not bad. And plus you had to compete with other people, so to get a peacock charm back in the day, it's damn near impossible. <laughs> you would spend weeks down there, months. And a lot of people like used, uh, later on they started using bots and stuff like that and hacking tools. Yeah. So you probably couldn't even compete if you wanted to. It was a rough time back then. <laughs> Not to mention, like, stuff like the hobby costed 10 million gil. Right. And I remember. And it was it was rough. And I was a samurai, so Hagen was expensive. Hagen was about 10 million. My goodness. Yeah. And I bet the Fumas and Okotis were always camped. I never had them. It was too expensive. I mean, it was like 50 million for the Okotis or something stupid. <laughs> retarded like that. Like, all that, all that extra money for, like, A few attack. extra attack, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the step down, the H Cody's are, were, was, like, millions less. So it's like, you're paying millions of dollars for five attack. Wow. How about diminishing returns? Rough. So, yeah, I, uh, I put some music on my phone, got some earbuds. And I, I made a joke to my wife that I'm going to put Coldplay on there, the first album, and I'm going to put Don't Panic on repeat <laughs> for, for, for two hours on the plane. Don't panic. The less than one minute song you're going to have on repeat. <laughs> I won't be panicking anymore. I'll just be slightly annoyed. Right. And so you have to trade off one horrible emotion for another horrible emotion. But hopefully the lesser... The, oh, I remember this area here. Me and my link show come out here and... uh. The monks would stand back there and chi blast. The samurais would run in, <laughs> meditate, use their weapon skill, and run off. Nice. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Really. It is embarrassing. Okay, we have a 30% chance to get kitty pants. Kitty pants. Yeah. Does it say juicy on the butt? <laughs> Dude, I remember, like, there was this, like, um girl that like in high school and on her butt it said like I think it said it was either crazy or psycho uh -oh. and she really was crazy so I was like it, did mm. she buy those ironically or does she not know she's crazy or <laughs> one of the one of the like, you can pop when you're ready and what? one of the craziest girls one of the cutest girls in high school when I was a freshman was a uh, girl in the we called it the Genesis house, like, you know, like the, the halfway house for crazy people, right? That right. got in trouble. She was extremely pretty. One of the prettiest girls in school. Completely nuts. But completely nuts. And one day I asked her, so why are you in, why are you in the Genesis house? She's like, oh, 
My boyfriend like cheated on me, so I beat him almost to death with a hammer. Whoa. Oh wow, okay then. <laughs> don't, Alrighty don't mess then. with her. I think she kinda liked me, but I think she kinda knew also that I'm not her type. Right. I think she's more into like the, you know. Bad boys. Mm -hmm. I'm a nerd. That didn't go anywhere. But thank goodness. It, thank goodness, huh? That's take home, uh, show to your mom and get married material right there. <laughs> She's like almost went to jail, basically went to jail for having hammer time with her. Hammer boyfriend. time! <laughs> we got him! We got one! <laughs> I feel I feel bad lauding on that since you did all the work, so um, I'll let you have that one. Well, I don't mind. It can be free lot. Well, I'm not gonna be able to beat that lot anyways, but you can have them. <laughs> Thanks. You earned it. And I'll let you have the other stuff you're collecting it right. But yeah, I lot them with the lightning crystal. The those pants are gonna be perfect for my 75 monk that we're keeping at 75. Yeah, that's our goal. If we didn't, if you haven't watched in our series, we've beat Wendy missions, we beat ZM, we beat COP, and we read all the storyline. However, we're level 99, but we did level a new job. I got warrior, she got monk, and we're gonna keep it at 75. What you do is you just change your your XP to merit points, so you don't get any more XP. So you can't level up anymore. And we thought it'd be really cool to do treasures and wings in the 75 cap with our trust, of course. Unless we hit a roadblock, like it requires an alliance or something. Yeah. And we, we don't have any friends on the server, so we have no choice but to switch back to our 99 jobs. And I have a ninja, and she has several jobs. I've only been playing on the stream. I rarely play outside of the stream. Mostly if it's like stupid stuff like I was uh, leveling up, skilling up my uh, great axe. It was, right. it was awful. You didn't want to watch that, trust me. <laughs> you didn't me. want to watch that. A whole day of me just hitting, whacking things with my great axe. Julia Ruan Gardens won again. But this time... I like rape. This time, things will be different. Maybe I shouldn't say that. People don't get that reference. <laughs> this, this time, things will be different. This time, I like rape. <laughs> That's from a uh, event harassment. Two, right? Two, one point two. One. One. Well, I thought I said two. I'm sorry. Maybe that's in my head. I thought, well, we did one. Now it's time for two. Well, anyways, there's like this series of stuff from like 2007, 2008. Vent harassment. People use it. Use a chat program called Ventrilo. If you're really young and don't know what that is, this guy would go in there and just troll people. He would record their voices and play it back to them. It was really, really, really freaking funny. <laughs> yeah, then. it was. And it's already been. That's pretty old now. That's already 15 years old. I don't think Vince even around anymore. Everyone uses a stupid Discord. And I say stupid not because I don't think it's bad, I just think it's stupid. I don't know why, I just don't like it. <laughs> don't like. <laughs> I don't like anything that's too popular, I guess. Nope, too popular. <laughs> I didn't like Vent back then, I didn't like TeamSpeak, and I don't like Teams. Maybe, I just, maybe I'm just real, or Teams, did I say Teams? Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about work again, aren't I? Yeah. I really don't like teams either. I don't like social platforms. I don't like Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of ironic that I'm trying to be social on YouTube. Right. But a lot of a lot of this is for us. I mean, like, in yeah, 20 true. years, like, we can watch these videos and remember what it was like back in 2023. Yep. What we were going, what was going on in our world. That's true. Things change. I mean, I would love to see a video of ourselves playing a game together from 17 years ago. Oh, it might be cringy. <laughs> Honestly, but yeah, you're right. But no, chat programs aren't bad. I'm just, I'm just being stupid. Teams, I mean, not teams, but uh, Discord's fine. It is really handy for what it does. Just like everyone freaking uses it now. I guess if you make something that good, I guess it's gonna get popular. Yeah. There's not very many alternatives now. 
I did not mean to sneak myself. Stop. <laughs> Wrong macro. Stop. <laughs> Talking to a guy that uh, in the warehouse that built his own computer. And I'm such I'm such a nerd. He showed me the case. I'm like, oh, that's a Lian Lee a Lian Lee case or however you pronounce it. L I A N L I. It's one of those like glass cases or it looks like a glass case that's kind of like it exposes. And he did all those like light up fans. And oh stuff yeah, on there. yeah, that stuff looks like, cool. You know, anytime I'm a nerd, I'm like, oh, I don't know what the case of that. And I guess it's a, kind of a popular case, so it's not that big of a deal, but pretty flashy. Nice. He even had like a remote view session on his cell phone to his computer at home. And he was like zooming in and I was like, he's like, yeah, I'm emulating. I'm like, have you tried RetroArch? Yeah, I have it right here. And he like showed us on his phone and he zoomed in. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Did you Some, know wait, someone at work here in Hampa uses RetroArch and plays games? Yeah, at work. Wow. And I told him about Rewind and he's like, oh, I need to do that. He didn't know you can do that in RetroArch. And I showed him how and I was like, you should do it, man. He said, I use Say Say. Well, Say Say is so. 2004, bro. <laughs> you gotta get in the times. Get some rewind going on. It's funny. <laughs> it is. Especially in Resident Evil when you keep on rewinding the intro and okay, making no. you yell forever. No, you go too far. Too far. <laughs> Jimbu. <laughs> Whenever we were um, beating Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3, there's no way we would have beat any of them without rewinds. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> they are so hard. Jimbo drops like a helmet or something. Yeah, he's Yeah, something that we don't really need, but... No, you're, we need two things, the body piece and the legs, and you're, you're good to go. That's it, yeah. We're 1-4 now. I probably shouldn't waste my... Oh, no, you can hit him. There you go. Yeah. I'll let you have the pops. Deal? Okay. Too bad he didn't drop two, because if he'd have dropped two, we could have fought Kieran twice. That would have been cool. Oh well. Okay, warp back. Oh man. It's dragon time. There's four bosses, right? Yeah, and then Kieran. So five? There's five, yeah. So each of these bosses, you have to have two pop items. And then... So there you go. So you have to have eight pop items. And then if you fight all four gods, they'll each drop a seal. And you need all four of their seals to pop Kieran. Okay. That's cool. I'll just uh, pack my whole computer set up in my sound system so I can continue recording in my hotel room. There you go. That's dedication. <laughs> Ruin Gardens 4. That'd be impossible. <laughs> Blue Gardens 4? Yeah. Office of Rulud. I was like, what? <laughs> no. That's not even a teleport. It's not even a thing, bro. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so I'm a little distracted. It happens. All my mind is thinking about is work, work. <laughs> Quit poking me. Work, work. I'm not that kind of work. <laughs> Where you is. There you are. And I know everyone's shit's all emotional right now. <laughs> but we have this guy named Not Sure. He's gonna fix everything. And he has a three step plan to fix everything. <laughs> He's gonna fix the crops. And we're <laughs> running out of burrito wrappings. <laughs> and he's going to fix the economy. <laughs> the economy. 
three days. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and he's like, I really think what the plants want is water. And I was like, like from out the toilet. Wait, on the toilet? <laughs> But Brondo has electrolytes. <laughs> it's what the plants crave. <laughs> yeah, that's what they crave. <laughs> and he's like, but why do they crave it? Because it has electrolytes. Because it has electrolytes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, the Department of Education head, secretary. Oh, I know. He's, he's all, all cross-eyed. He's cross-eyed, always shooting that gun and doesn't say a word. <laughs> I was reading the other day that uh, the reason it didn't have much success in the box office is because a lot of the companies realized that, oh my god, we agreed for them to be in this movie, but we're like, look, they're making us look bad. <laughs> and so Fox legally released it in the least amount of theaters possible. And it, it was only released like maybe like a dozen theaters. And they were hoping it would just make their money back on the DVD sales. Right. It's a pretty ballsy movie if you think about it. <laughs> like, no corporation was ever seen in a positive light. No. It was all negative. <laughs> You're a bad mother. Hey, You're Carl's Jr. Your cuts are now in the custody of Carl's Jr. <laughs> you need to imagine them, like, actually like, allowing them to use that. They would never in a million years. I don't know how Mike Judge pulled that off. I think it's hilarious. They would say, hell no, you can't use our product. <laughs> well, Brondo's made up. Yeah, but you can tell it's making fun of Gatorade. Yeah, the guy who played the president, Camacho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he, he said in an interview, he said, it was kind of funny because these corporations didn't realize that, like, for example, Starbucks is like giving, you know, head. Like, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. Hot ladies. Hot ladies. <laughs> this is not the time for that right now. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, He's book like, out of prison. I was in the wrong line, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be getting out of prison. <laughs> He was in the wrong line. <laughs> the wrong line. Dumbass. There's some other really funny quotes, but I'm not, I can't, probably can't say it on YouTube. I get banned. Yeah. You, you definitely... Know, you, you know what I'm talking don't, about. Don't say Dr. Lexus's quote. Yeah, Dr. Lexus. <laughs> yeah. Can't say that. No. Nope. Those were different times back then. Yeah, people could take a joke back then. Not anymore, though. When did that movie come out? Like, 2012? Uh, no, tell them no, it was like six. It's really old now. Dicking his butt. Dude, she was the easiest out of all of them. Yeah, if you have the other ones, it's kind of slower because they have uh, a lot of uh, resists and, and vulnerabilities. You got her hands. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing that surely drops. That's decent, really. I'll take the seal. We'll walk in this rest of the yeah, stuff. Yeah, just, just free lot. Yeah. I got the code. Mm. Guess it's better than nothing. On to Suzaku. Suzaku. Gotta reach in her butt there and get the <laughs> teleport out. <laughs> kind of weird sky farming duo. Right? This would never be in a million years possible back in the day. Uh uh. I don't think anybody could solo these. That'd be impossible. Maybe well. it's been done, who knows? Maybe a red mage for an hour? <laughs> well, like, our friend, like, when he was beating them for us, he was wearing that Twilight piece that had okay. automatic re-raise, and he died and re-raised himself, like, eight yeah, times. Yeah, that's, tr that's true. <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah. Alright. It is home point two. Dos? Dos. Caballeros. Spice up your life at, at the, the dos. dos. <laughs> yeah, everyone's gonna get that reference. <laughs> Like this, this little bitty like mom and pop Mexican restaurant that hasn't been open for 15 years in our town. <laughs> in our small town. 
they had a, little, they had a commercial on there, and it just, it's, I don't know. It was just so catchy stuck in my head. that it just stuck with us. The dos caballeros, spice up your life at the dos. <laughs> it's really funny. It was. Wish I could find it. I'm hoping someone in our small town actually. Have, have you looked on YouTube for the Dos Caballeros commercial? <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I should really look it up. Surely someone in our town <laughs> has it on a VHS tape somewhere. <laughs> Shirley, right? Oh, don't call me Shirley. <laughs> if you let me follow you, I'll look real quick. Okay. I'll uh, put it up here. Come on, please. <laughs> oh, it's looking at a lot of Hispanic stuff. Well, yeah. Did you say Dos Caballeros Pampa? Yeah. <laughs> it's like looking at all the Hispanic stuff. Anybody's put it up. It might be lost in time. Darn. I bet the owners have a VHS somewhere. Probably. You need to hunt them down and find and let them know, hey, you really need to upload that to YouTube. Please. <laughs> All this time I should have been like recording weird TV commercials from my community. Uh, I could have made like an up like I uploaded them all. That would have been cool. It's just lost in time and memory. In our in our heads. Yep. You didn't want her? No, she's in my macro because I use her um as static nearly always, but oh. I want the extra treasure hunter for the sky gods. Okay. And Nanamigos is really good, even though we both have Treasure Hunter. Is there a sea farming, or is that not really a thing? It is, but it, I don't know it yet. There's a lot for me to read and research. It's kind of like Sky, except more in depth. Uh -oh. There's There's sea gods that you have to farm pop items, to farm lesser gods, to get to, to, get to fight the big ones, just yeah. like this. But it seems more in depth. Like, I read... In order to fight one of the lesser gods, you have to farm 15 of those Gron chips. And I only had three, and we were there like six hours. Oh, man. So we're going to have to like purposely go and farm items. But I really want to do that, too, because I've never fought any of the gods in sea. In the, in the uh, gear worth it? I didn't even look. I was just looking at how to fight them. <laughs> I always thought she was cool looking. Yeah. This is the fourth one? Yeah. I thought we already, I thought we did four already. No, she's the fourth. We did Bayoko, Jinbu, and Siryu. Oh wow, okay. She's fourth. And then Kieran. My weapon skill didn't work. Uh, I'm on the wrong macros. No wonder. I was on my warrior. That would make sense. <laughs> wow, that's... Like a seal? Kind of lame ha uh, feet, huh? Yeah. Okay, I have all four seals. Awesome. Nice. I have too much crap. Oh. 
Last one. Yes, now we get to go fight Kieran. Awesome. I've only fought him once. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, we did on that one link show, uh, server and uh, uh, Omega. Yeah, and I think I've did it once by myself. Um. You need to go to a book work. Port Windows 2 if you're staying in Windows. Hit the wrong button. Yeah, some people get really excited traveling, and I'm kind of the opposite now. I do. I get so excited. I can't, like, I love traveling. I used to love it, but maybe I just need to do it more. I'm just not used to it. Yeah, because you really like, you're a creature of habit. You really like routines. What the hell did I go here for? What the port <laughs> Sandoria? <laughs> There's no book there, silly goose. You can tell my mind's in the gutter, huh? <laughs> you can tell I'm just not all here right now. It's kind of why I've been trying to avoid streaming, because I'm just like, not all here right now. I'll be okay in two weeks. Yes, you will. I'll be back to normal and probably feel a lot more like energized and confident. Yeah. But right now I don't feel that way. Now I, f I feel terrible. I feel like I need to like take a Xanax and just roll up in a blanket and watch TV all day. You did that yesterday. It was nice. Well, I still had to work, <laughs> but yeah. It wasn't a full-fledged... Ruin Gardens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... Distracted. Wait. We're in gardens. Oh, there it is. Tulia. I was thinking it's the teleport again. I'm sorry. I'm. That's okay. I'm out of it. I'm really out of it. It's okay. I'll be okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> Going with you for the first four days. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, that's true, but I'll be there a week and, you know. Like nine days by myself, but that's cool. Maybe it would be fun to hang out with your family for a little bit. Definitely. That is going to be fun. I, I might and be too tired to really have too much fun, though. I'd be like, it's, I've already worked eight hours. I'm like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, but I mean, I think we'll have enough energy to have fun. I mean, come on. I'm going to be working at the hotel the whole day, the four days I'm there, like on schoolwork and work work. 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 But we're gonna have fun. Are they the same? Great. Are they the same one night? Yeah. I guess they don't mind doing that, do they? Mm mm. They do it all the time. Try to walk in the middle so you don't get aggro. Yeah. Good point. And it's kind of nice to say one day you don't you don't have to save up very much money. You know, if you get slaughtered on the tables, who cares? Yeah. You don't have to worry about having to have four or five days allowance. Oh, um, Randy said when they went last month, the um. Last month. Yeah. The. Blackjack was 15 minimum, but craps was $10 all night. 15 at a casino like that? Huh. Damn. But craps was $10 all night. So that's maybe, awesome. Maybe other casinos are cheaper than that. Maybe. Craps is where we'll be, though. Yeah, that's. I don't mind 10. Yeah. But if it goes to 15, I'll be like, oh, yeah, we're going to play for like a little bit. That's uh, perfect. And I'm out. I'll do pass line bets only. Well, no, he said that um, craps was 10 all night. What, there's a weekend or like a weekday? I think he said it was a weekday. A weekend, it might be higher. Could be. Was it crowded? He said you get to play with a lot of locals, like a lot of chill Cajuns. Um, but he did say that it, um, he recommended not playing Texas Hold'em no. with the locals because he said they will clean you out. He said there are people that go every day that live there to play Texas Hold'em. <laughs> and they... And they're really good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, think, I don't think I could do that. I'd suck at Hold'em. I used to be pretty good at it, but not really anymore. I'm more of a craps guy. Yeah, me too. I'm not a guy, but... You know what I mean. Craps girl, yeah. I just want to stand up, hang Throw out with some people, dice. talk. Yes. 
Have a few drinks. Mm -hmm. Oh, sneak invisible. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm really, really excited. And the food. We have heard some amazing things about Louisiana food. Yeah, but unfortunately, I don't have no, I'm too much of a big appetite when I'm nervous. I'll eat like a like a bird. I'll probably uh, like lose like ten pounds on this trip. You'll be fine. Once you get there, you're gonna be fine. It's just the anticipation of waiting for the trip that you're nervous. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm sure I'll be fine driving. It's not that not that hard. Just follow GPS, and I've been driving my whole life. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. It's just I get a little nervous. Some people get really nervous, and I hate reading up. Like, I don't. If you have anxiety, I don't recommend researching it from other people. No. Because it gets in your head. You start thinking, seeing how they react. Like, oh, maybe I'll do that too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, do it's, that. it's really sad. Some people are really, really bad, like bad off, like really bad. It's a very bad thing to research. Okay, so come on with me. This portal, there's a 50% chance it'll warp you to Kieran. 50% yeah. chance it'll take you to the wrong area and you have to try again. Oh, crap. That's stupid. This looks right. We got the right area. Yeah, I remember fighting. It's right there. I remember that. Yep. We got if lucky. It's, if it's the wrong area, do you have to like run and like, go all the way back? You have to warp home. Try again. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> What? Ugh. Who thought that would be a good idea? <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Yeah. Oh wait, let me cancel and get out. Nanamigo. We want all the treasure hunter we can get. I don't know if it would help, but... I'm... S I'm subbing the wrong sub-job. I'm subbing warrior. Oops. I'm subbing thief, and we have Nanamigo. So, we've got treasure hunter covered. I was going to do Thief too, but I forgot. There he is! He's so cool! Oh, there it is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Bless, Bless you! Me. Dude, you see how much damage he did to me? Yeah, he hits hard. And I'm level 99. Yeah, he was a tough cookie back in the day. People running around dying, panicking. <laughs> Whole party dying. It's like an alliance thing, you know? Right? The um, recommended strategy um, from like whenever this website was made. It's a Japanese website that I've been following. Yeah. Uh, um, 2006. The 2006 strategy takes 50 minutes to kill him. Whoa. 50 minutes? 50. Yeah. Oh my god. So the Karen's of study was really a mark <laughs> of you being a badass. Right? Come on, drop, drop, drop. We got, we got it. it. <laughs> Man, two and two. That's so awesome. Nice. Okay, so sometime over the week that I'm by myself, I'll farm all the pop items again so we can find them again and hopefully get hopefully get it again. Oh. Good I, job, babe. I got this one and you get the other one. It's a fair trade. That's awesome. I'd rather have the kitty pants. I'll trade you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're good. We could. I don't mind trading. No, no, no. You're, you're fine. I'm just joking. Making some room here. I'm like running out of. Oh, bone air. I don't need bone errands anymore. You might level up another job. Yeah, that's kind of a waste of space. I've never had the Karen's City before. Ever. That is so cool. I don't think I've ever had kitty pants either. I've had the kitty pants once, but Sean got them for me. I didn't even, like, really contribute. Oh, he just, <laughs> he just sat there and watched them? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. You did a good job. We did. Before I leave, I'll just show off my armor I've gotten on my warrior now. Yes, let's change jobs. Um, we could go to Norg and change jobs. Good old Norg. 
which is here. Auction? It's kind of an auction house area. Yeah, it is. North's a good place. It's kind of a hub. You have a you can have a mog house right there. You don't have to you don't have to zone in or anything. You have an auction house, and you have a, you have a book and a teleport crystal. The only thing that's missing, I guess, is like unity warp. I unity guess unity warp, um, spark gear. Yeah, so it's not a perfect place. There is no perfect place. No, there's not. <laughs> No, go there we go. Warrior ninja. Oh my gosh, I got my kitty pants. Nice. That looks cool. Ooh, look at you. We got a 75 pimped out person now. I need better hands though. You those. still have level 30 hands that I loaned you. <laughs> right, I'll put on those. Siru hands that aren't really that good, but fuck it. I'll wear it. Good for me throwing my bow or something. Or my something. Arrow, my bow. <laughs> I don't know if you want to throw your no. bow at the enemy. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I got the rune chopper off the auction house. Pretty good if you have a... Uh, the way the latent effect works is as long as you have at least one MP, you'll get 9% haste, which is really nice. Especially back in these times. Unfortunately, it drains 3 MP, so you gotta have refresh on you or something like that to keep it going. We got the uh, Walhara, tur uh, the Wal Walahara turban, which we call the Walmart turban, which is you know pretty nice. I got the peacock amulet. Finally, took a while. We got the hollow earring. It's like so what somewhat good, and the, the soup is really good. If I'm gonna do two axes or two swords, we just got the Karen's Asode. I also have the hobby I loaned from her. I think technically you still want to use the hobby to TP in, and you want a weapon skill with the Karen's Asode, but we'll okay. do that later. Hands are kind of so-so. We got the Raha's ring, which is nice, for beating COP. I got a sniper's ring up out in the auction house. There only have one left. You might want to check later if there's another sniper on there. And uh, I got the Cerberus mantle, which there's only one left on there. You might need to check again. That, that's a good... It's probably. I think the Cerberus mantle plus one is probably the best back piece you can probably get. I thought... Mine was pretty good. You After you're done looking at your gear, check me. Okay. And I bought the Sonic Belt. It's on the auction house for basically nothing. Pants? I need I need pants. And boots, it's fine. It's This is like the Leaping Lizzie Boots plus one. That's what that is. And then for her, we got the... We need to get her the... What's it called? Ground Belt? No, I was thinking about the hands. The, uh cross counters or something like that was it mine are actually better these are um damage plus 20. but sure there's better things out there right somewhere and you got your walmart turban she also has a peacock amulet ethereal ring beetle earring monk can't really use supa and scorpion harness and she has the baby okody Salem's ring, Raha's ring, Salem's mental. Uh, attack twelve's good. I think I think the reason why mine's a little better is you have you have strength. Uh, we need to get you the brown belt, <laughs> and your pants are amazing, and those are good boots. That's probably the best you can wear. You want haste? Definitely. Let's see. So I have five with my head, five with my pants. So that's ten. Three with my feet, so that's yep. 13. What's the max? 24, 25. Oh, so I'm Can't nowhere remember. near max. <laughs> no. Yeah, the service mental minus 12 oh, attack. And oh, and four for my belt. So I'm at 17. And brown belt will give you like 8% or something. Yeah. And the, yeah, the service mental gives you 12 attack, but it gives you three strength. Oh, okay. So, so I need to see if they have that. But yours is fine. If they don't have one. But Monk kind of wants strength. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we have a our 75s are getting there. I think we're almost ready to tackle treasures. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, our gear is more than passable. This is better than gear than most people had back then when they were kind of broke. Yeah. You know, this is this would have been like a fortune to get something like this back then. Millions of gil. Yeah. Rune chopper. I don't remember seeing that. In the, that must have been rare. 
I never saw it. I want to know how much that was worth back in the day. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm guessing a lot. Probably a lot. Because usually you want to bard your party, and if they can convince them to haste you, that dude, that's crazy. Or refresh you. 9%? That's 15 with my belt alone. And 20 with my hat. So I'm I'm almost getting close to max there. Yeah. Just with that uh you know weapon. I need to find some better axes though. There's one brown belt on the auction. It was not there the other day. I'm buying it. How much is it? Two hundred thousand. Oh wow. But I can do the quest and then I can sell it. That's true. It's worth it. Yeah. The sad thing is, this guy is probably playing by himself. Oh, I know. I saw those guys grouped together. I figured it was a, one, a yeah, dual boxer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six people. It's all himself. Sad and lonely. That's, that's, yeah. Yep. That's 11 now. It's there very is, sad and lonely. There is one Cerberus Mantle on the auction house. I'm going to see how much it is. That's good. I think it's worth it. Oh, only 30,000? Yeah. It's plus one. You definitely want that. No plus ones. Nah, I didn't see it either. So how much does is, is brown bell give 8%? I think so, yeah. Taste? Yeah, that's great. So now I have 21%. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Monks, you want strength and you want haste. Yeah. We have to go unlock uh, Azure and Fists. Oh, yeah, I need to get my weapons to start breaking them. Your trust can usually be a good skill chain partner sometimes, but you want to close it though. Yes. I can be your it's, partner. Yeah, and I know like Ayami is a really good one to to skill chain with. Well, I can do it with you. I'll just I'll just be the starter every time, and you can close a. You know, I want to make light or dark with you. That would be you perfect. Get three points, you get three I think. points. Yeah, yeah. it goes a lot faster. We'll buy more in the store. We're just out. Buy what? Hot chocolate. Oh. You can get a Snickers bar and melt it and make it really hot. <laughs> I don't know if that would be very good. <laughs> no. Not good for you either. No. I'm kind of I'm kind of on a health kick now. I'm I'm really worried about like getting to my I'm gonna become like middle aged now and I'm starting to like maybe I should order a salad, not not a cheeseburger. I used to eat like Dean, but now I need, need to eat now more you like, need Sam. To eat like Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Another word of advice too for people who suffer anxiety: avoid caffeine, avoid sodas, avoid smoking, avoid drinking, avoid anything so fun. So all the fun things, yeah. Anything that has a lot of uh, sodium, avoid. Don't eat McDonald's. Eat something like crackers, bread, cheese. Something that's not like and no and no like avoid like all frozen foods. <laughs> no fun allowed. Yeah, because I swear when I have anxiety problems and I'm kind of on the brink of, you know, the better you eat, the, the easier it is to control yourself. If you eat something really unhealthy, it's just really just it's just easier for the demon to come out. Right. Oh, and exercise. Walk. You don't have to like pump like, you know, iron or anything. Just walk around a little bit. Maybe do some sit-ups. Yep. Walk, go outside for a little bit. Play with a dog. Try to keep your mind occupied off of your worries. It's a downward spiral. Yeah. Listen to music. If you're on a plane, listen to earbuds. Listen to your favorite relaxing band. Don't listen to anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Definitely not. Relaxes so you. for me, like, I would never ever want to listen to like screaming music or rap or something like that. But just, no. I have, some people might find but that some relaxing. Some people, yeah, some people do like that. You know. It has to be right for you. I'll listen to pure moods on the airplane. <laughs> and don't panic on repeat. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't recommend sitting in silence with your with your thoughts. No. Watch TV. Watch something that engages you. 
And if you're having trouble sleeping, don't watch something that t it's engaging. Watch something that distracts you but makes you sleepy, like golf. Survivor Man. I love Survivor Man, but he knocks, he knocks me right out. Chef Ramsay. Another good one. It's engaging, but puts you right out. <laughs> Ghost Adventures. That's a good one. Yes. Uh, It knocks me right out. It's very relaxing, very comfortable. And don't get anything with commercials. Ghost Adventures. Commercial free. And Survivor Man. We could watch every yeah. night. Okay, Easily. I'm, I need to go to Port Bastok to get the hands to start unlocking. It's getting a little late. Are you wanting to call it or? It, uh, oh my gosh, it's after eight. Ugh, fine. Wait for an hour. I'll get the trial knuckles and then we can call it a day. Tomorrow we can. Uh, I can help you. I might not record because this says farming, but I'll help you get your weapon unlocked. Oh. I don't mind. But yeah, I might not record anything for the next two weeks. I'm like I said, I'm gonna be out of town and uh, yeah, miserable in a hotel room. Hopefully, have some fun, but it's mostly still just work. You'll have so. fun with me. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Until you leave. Until and I then, leave. <laughs> and then it's gonna be just nothing but work and sitting in a hotel room and watching uh, Family Guy or something on whatever's on TV. <laughs> At the time with commercials. That's the only time I watch commercials when I'm like in a hotel room. Uh, well, hopefully you can watch on your iPad something more Preferably. fun than <laughs> commercials. I remember the last time I was in a hotel, I was by myself. It must have been Tulsa. It had to have been. I haven't, I haven't drove, I haven't been by myself on a vacation, or not a vacation, but a business trip since 2016. It was in Oklahoma. I was, yeah, I was in a hotel room. I wasn't even there that long. I think it was only there for like, what, three or four days? Yeah, it wasn't long. It, it felt fast, but two weeks is going to feel a little slow. But honestly, not really. No, because I leave on Thursday and you come back the next Friday. So we're only going to be apart a week. That's true. And usually yeah. when you work really hard, which I will be, it goes fast. It goes fast. Like today was a great day because I didn't have a chance to even worry about my emotions. I was busy nonstop. I didn't even have a chance to eat. I forgot to eat lunch. And before I knew it, it was like already three o'clock. I was like, wow. Yeah. And I hope it's the same way there. And I'll just be, I'll, when I get home, I'll be tired. I go to bed, watch my, uh, watch some shit on my iPad. Yeah. Connect to my Plex server. It should, hopefully it will work if the internet's, as long as your internet's like three or four meg, you should be okay. Mm-hmm. I hope the hotel can rock at least that much. And today's networking. I bet it'll be fine. But it is Louisiana, so who knows? <laughs> Is your thing done downloading on the uh, iTunes or something? Um, the iTunes update finally finished, but now it's backing up the phone. Oh, I had to stop it because I Can ran out. Can you stop it? Yeah. You press and still the, do the music? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, just hit that because it's, you don't need that. No. That's no. on my C drive. My C drive is like always almost low because this is my OS. I was like, no, don't put it on my damn C drive. Right? If you hit it, it now it's doing the music. It should be, right? Okay, the sync is still grayed out. Oh, so mine just started doing the music. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the stream. iTunes, yes. We're talking about stupid <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.